Hello, I'm Stuart and I'm here today with a micro bit. This is a, a inexpensive little computer created by the BBC to help teach programming to children and it will be going out to school children in spring of 2016. In the meantime I've got hold of one so that I can have a look at a bit of programming using MicroPython and in particular I'm looking at how it can be used in conjunction with the Raspberry Pi which is a inexpensive computer that can be used to program the microbit. You can write programs for the microbit using MicroPython which is a cut down version of the popular Python programming language. To install Chromium I'm going to follow the instructions that are provided in a forum post. You can see the form address here. Copy and paste the relevant lines from the code box into a terminal window on the Raspberry Pi. The first three commands will download the appropriate files onto your local Raspberry Pi. The remaining will install the files. They begin with sudo which means that it will run with full administrator privileges. This can be a security risk so you should only do this with files that you trust. This installed without any errors, so now we can launch it by going to the pull down menu, internet and clicking on Chromium. As you can see it looks very much like the Chrome browser, but there are a few features that are only available in Chrome, but that won't cause a problem here. Now we've installed Chromium, we can run the MicroPython editor. In future I assume this will be on the normal web page for the microbit. However, that's not available yet, so I've got an offline copy that I've saved to my computer, which I'm going to open.
as you can see the editor is fairly basic and easy to use so the first line says that it's already imported the microbit module which we'll be using and so I'll just enter a command to scroll some text across the LED display on the front of the microbit. I'm going to use the classic hello world um, often used by as an introduction to programming. I'm now going to click on the download button which will generate the .hex file and save it as micropython.hex which goes by default into the downloads folder. I'm now going to connect the micro bit via a micro USB lead to one of the USB ports on the Raspberry Pi. It now pops up a message um, asking for authentication to mount the micro bit as a removable disk drive which we can enter the usual Raspberry Pi password and then the micro bit is mounted on, in this case as slash media slash pi slash micro bit So we can now drag and drop the .hex file created earlier onto the microbit. It will then be downloaded to the microbit and then start to run. You can see the activity LED flash in now as the file is transferred to the microbit. The program will then start to run, although in the first attempt it stops, resets and then carries on, which I believe is due to the mounting of the disk drive on the Raspberry Pi. So now we've created our first MicroPython program running on the microbit. Visit www.walkisonline.co.uk forward slash microbit for more details including links to find out more about MicroPython on the microbit.